Okay, so we actually have this uh, model uh, a bit of a shoulder dislocation simulator here that was sent to us. And we're actually going to go ahead and try it out and see how many different shoulder dislocation procedures that we can accomplish here. And we have Justin and Raphael. Raphael is one of the emergency medicine residents. So Justin is, is a future emergency medicine resident. And we are going to, what do you want to start with guys? Uh, let me try the fairies. Want to start the fairies? I okay. Would like to start the fairies. I think that'd be. Solid. All right. Let's start with the fairies. All right. All right. Dislocate. Go. All right. Go ahead and dislocate it now. And grab both wrists. Grab up here and I just kind of push them up. And then you can feel that's out. Okay. Anterior dislocation. Yep. All right. So you got anterior dislocation. All right. So you're going to just do the fairies right now. So he's, what are you doing? So you're putting traction on. Dental traction. Slappy winging it up and down, up and and it. See and, right and it there. popped in. Yep. All right, good, good. That's easy enough. Show us how you're gonna dislocate it. Dislocation. Uh, Using your left uh, arm under there, yep. dislocated, okay. Right, left arm under there. And then now you're gonna do external rotation. Okay. External rotation. Adduct a little bit more to elbow in if you can. It's a little bit more awkward on the model, but all right. I'm not feeling. Okay. Nope. So, so, so in that case, then extend the arm completely out and put traction on there. And Justin's going to hold it down and then start and move it and up like you're doing the Milch technique. Move it on up, move it on up, take it all the way up over and the head and you put it in. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Now, what do you want to do next? Uh, we try a posterior one. Okay. We'll do posterior. So, so what's going to be the technique on the posterior? So... So you're basically going to have the, because, you know, when they present with a, with a posterior dislocation, the arm's going to be close to the body. It's going to be a little bit adducted. So you're, just, you're basically going to then just pull the arm, put traction on the, on the folded arm, and then you're going to, is that kind of posterior? Oh, that is very posterior. Yeah, that okay, good. Really okay, good. So I'm, I don't think you're putting enough traction on it. I think what you want to do... Okay, so put traction, and then you're gonna adduct. There you go. I was afraid of breaking the model. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty tough model. I'm not so worried that you're gonna break it. So Justin, let's let's look at the uh, mechanism inside there. Okay, so you take this device here in here. Yeah. You lift it. Okay, all right. And then the knob over here, will you know uh lefty loosey and righty tighty so you can loosen this the springs yeah or you can tighten it the other way yeah. or tighten it this way okay right. and then go ahead and put that back on so you put this part on first okay and then this is this is really kind of a knee pad, nice soft little knee pad that someone can use to um, help stabilize the equipment. If, if you're doing it down on the floor um, or even up on the bed, you can actually stabilize it. All right, Justin, what are you gonna do next? All right, so we have an anterior dislocation. We're going to relocate this shoulder with the Hippocratic method. And so this method is not recommended to, to um, neurovascular damage. But we're going to demonstrate here. You can either take your shoe off and use your sock or take a towel, place it in the patient's axilla, and sit here on the bed. I'll keep my shoe on for this one. Place the foot in the axilla. I'm going to hold this to steady. You don't really have a partner on the other side. You'll provide traction to the patient's arm and pop start back in. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is he's going to demonstrate basically how to. Uh, put an inferior dislocation back in. So the inferior dislocation is going to present with their arm extended up over their head. And so we are, it's dis, it's dislocated now. It's dislocated inferiorly. Yeah, I want him pulling more superior. Okay. All right. All right, we're going. Now you want to help him a little bit on that? The little. Hey, there it goes. All right, good. 